Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, you on Facebook, our Facebook business page for following along with us. We're just a titch, titch late, but you waited for us and we appreciate that. So you are um, you are on Fast Facts and Features with me, the brand ambassador for Ethical Flooring. Kevin, how are you this fine, coolish morning? Ooh, Kevin, are you there? I know I've got good, strong internet. Kevin is frozen. Oh my goodness. Kevin, Kevin. Are you, oh, there, you're back. Are you back, Kevin? He moved a little bit. I don't know if it's his internet or mine. I know I've got really strong internet where I am. Well, this has been, I'm just going to say, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, um, that's a wrap. And I know over the past couple of years, we started these um, at the advent of, um, of, you know, when you couldn't kind of move around the world a little bit. We wanted to make sure that we shared the story of ethical flooring. So Kevin, I can see your head moving. You're very still. We had a little blip in technology, which we've had over the last couple of years. So how are you doing this fine, coolish morning? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. Sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late running around this morning doing doing some things I had to do, but um, yeah, very well. Thank you. So as I was saying, over along the bottom, it's saying that's a wrap. And, you know, all good things, you know, sometimes come to an end that lead to great things. And um, we are wrapping up. This is the last episode of Fast Facts and Features with me, the brand ambassador for you guys over there at the Ethical Flooring. It's been an absolute honor sharing um, the stories and, and scheduling it and uh, getting out there and making sure that people are aware of what the great things that happen there in the showroom. So let's just talk about Kevin. You know, what were some of your favorite highlights over the last almost 100 videos over the last couple of years? Yeah, well, it's definitely, you know, the ability to highlight the team that that is here at Ethical Flooring. Um, we haven't been able to get them yeah. on as much as I hope because they're they're awfully busy all the time. Um, but um, you know, I just love the people that that work here. I love especially our employees. Um, I love even our suppliers, uh, partners mm -hmm. that you brought on that don't work here, but still in many ways are we feel that they're part of the team and part of that ecosystem that makes ethical flooring uh successful it's um it's not just me for sure and it's not just the team uh that works here it's also the installers who we didn't get to meet mm -hmm. uh, you know it's our supplier partners who who provide us with world-class product and, and excellent service so it's you know, even just as I'm saying here, I think about how many relationships are involved in mm -hmm. building a successful uh, enterprise that that works ultimately for our client at, at the end of the day. And I'm like, Absolutely. there's a lot of people, a lot of people involved in, in that. And, um, you know, I'm so grateful to all of them. And I'm going to say, because I've been helping you with your social media and being your brand ambassador online and Every time I go out and I helped uh, you and Tanya come on board with Night Shift Street Ministries in the last uh, year and a half to get your brand out there in a, a big service way, is I'm going to say we got to give big props to our followers that are following us on Facebook as we go live. And when I take this video and put it on Instagram and over on LinkedIn and when you share it over on your um, your, your uh, YouTube, as well as your past customers who have given you reviews as well as the word of mouth advertising that I know I have seen out in the industry um, with the jobs that you guys do. So there's, like when you said, it's it's a team of excellence of ethical flooring. It's it's more than that. It's, it's pretty incredible. It is, yeah. And then like, you're right, it involves, you know, your work and it involves all of our clients who have been happy with us um mm -hmm. sharing that word with others like we're we're quite shameless i suppose in saying that if you appreciated our work we would really really appreciate it if you mm -hmm. let other people know because you know we're not a mega corporation with huge advertising budgets and we try to run a very lean um operation so that we can offer the best value we can to our clients um so a lot of our our advertising is simply 
is simply word of mouth. And I think that's the best advertising for sure. So um, <laughs> and, um, you know, I appreciate everybody who's, um, who's done that. And there's people who, you know, if they've had an issue with, with us or with their product and, you know, sharing that in a calm manner and, and, mm -hmm. and re, you know, us resolving that. And those people often become your biggest fans. Um, that's, mm -hmm. you know, if I were to start sharing advice with a young entrepreneur, especially somebody in the trades or construction industry, I would say never give up with a difficult situation or a difficult client because they can oftentimes become your biggest promoters, um, provided that you resolve yeah. resolve their concern. Um, because yeah, I think I most agree. people expect that companies are not going to take them seriously or not going to want to help them. Um, mm -hmm. And when they run into someone like us who does, we genuinely want them to be happy and to have a good result. Um, quite often at the end, they're the ones given the biggest five star reviews. So uh, yeah. it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting community. And I'm going to say some of the highlights that I have is, you know, Kevin, they say is when you surround yourself with people when you ask a yes or no question and they seamlessly step into the yes. And when I've approached, uh, like Alan Zeman, your, your vintage rep for Vintage Mirage, and I said, hey, do you want to come on early on and share what you're about? And he said, yes. And Brandon Spearman, who is a mentor I know to you and who's helped you get the new flooring company, Arriva from Spain, and said, hey, can you come on? And they said, yes. And the Forbo rep said, yes. And my good friend, Christine Friend, who's worked with um, you, uh, the friendly decorator, has worked with you guys before and said, I want to have the uh, uh, the view of a, an interior designer working with ethical mm -hmm. and when you surround yourself with people that say yes much like you said yes to this almost two years ago when i said kevin what do you think of this idea of we go live and show people the goodness that goes on in your showroom and and it was so um affirming to what i'm about i'm about a business relationship strategist who loves representing brands more than just i hear buy me this buy me that buy me this is it's about the people connected to the brand so um and it was so exciting when i heard because i met jan i think i helped train him what when you're six years ago uh, when while, he first, yeah, yeah w w when he first came on and then he had a little hiatus and when he came back as your store manager and he stepped into a yes a very uncomfortable yes and he and he's been shining there at uh, ethical flooring as the store manager so it's been a succession of a whole bunch of highlights of yeses for me that keeps me wanting to uh share what you guys are all about there your family run company is all about that's really beautiful. Yeah. And uh, as I think about, you know, that, that warms me in my heart to, to know that, you know, this is the relationship that we have with all of the people who interact mm -hmm. with the company, right? Is I'm try not to cry, but I'm not, I, it may not happen. <laughs> it hopefully it won't be an ugly cry. It'll be a happy, it'll definitely be happy. Cause it's not, it's a wrap for this though. We're wrapping something really really kind of cool and exciting and um i just want to share kind of as we wrap up here is when kevin approached me and said hey we're going to you know put this you know we're going to wrap this up and it was like ah oh, that's so cool and you told me what you're doing and i have to t share with you kevin and all that are watching out there this is the second time that something like this has happened uh, for my company is I was the brand ambassador for JD Farms, who you know, because you know, Knights of Street Ministries, you know, mm -hmm. um, helping us out. And I was their brand ambassador for about three years. And they had a young fellow approach them about um, a scholarship because he was going to the University of the Fraser Valley for agriculture. And they went, oh, we've never thought of that before. So they created a really cool scholarship program with a brand ambassador component. So he has mm. to go represent the company because as a business owner, you know, it's not just about taking the sales. It's also about how you're representing the brand. So I was proof positive that this had value. And then for you, what you shared that you've got some new exciting intern coming on board. I'm gonna be helping you with your social media. And that warms my heart because you see the value of what this whole it's, it's about social connections versus social media in my world. And that warms my heart that you're taking your business to the next step and that you are helping educate a young person along the way. So, or allowing a safe space for him to learn. And that's, that's super important with this generation. 
Yeah, and to have experience while they're still in their schooling that you know yeah. they can put on their CV and in time. Um, uh, it's just the right thing to do, and it's um, I'm in, I'm excited to to help him and to learn from him. We've already had meetings, and I'm like, you know, I'm two generations too old for a lot of the things <laughs> that we talking about. I, I get it conceptually, and you know, I understand and. Yeah, but he's in terms of the mechanics it's like just people in their early 20s they, they've just grown up in a different time mm -hmm. right and of course and um the fresh ideas and the thoughts and like you said the safe space in order to try out new ideas exactly and, and, and uh you know hopefully and in time when he's out of school this will hopefully help him launch his career off the ground by having you know real life hands-on experience uh working with a company um uh, I think it's going to be great. So, yeah, Excellent. but it's this has been a fun uh, a fun journey, and um, you know, like I said, to be able to share with people during during a difficult time, and yep. hopefully the people that have been following along with us get a little bit of an understanding. You know, we really try to show that we are a human company. It's easy to tears and all. <laughs> it's, easy to, it's easy to look at a building from the outside and go ah. I don't know what goes on there or it's just a corporation or it's just a business and and we are all those things but ultimately why i come back every day is because we're a group of of awesome people who um get to spend the majority of our lives together um and that includes people from every every avenue from our brand ambassadors to our suppliers to our installers to our, our employees i'd no, no we're coming back Oh, Kevin, are you, oh, you know what? And that's, you know, almost a perfect place to leave it because I want to say a huge thank you to uh, all people that have watched past episodes, whether on the uh, the Facebook Live on the replays or on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube. There have been some technical difficulties. You've stuck with us. You've listened. A lot of times the picture might have gone, but our voices came through nice and strong as Kevin and I and, and a whole host of others have educated you with fast facts and features about ethical flooring. So Kevin, let's wrap this portion of uh, your story up involving me. And I wish you and Tanya all the best, but I know I get, I get to see you the third Wednesday of every month um, helping out at Night Shift Street Ministries. So it's been an absolute pleasure, my friend. And um, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Jeanette. And I look forward to um, you know seeing you again when we meet our street friends next month and do one of our favorite things to do, which is to help those who, um, you know, who needs some help and have a less fortunate than us. So absolutely. I will see you next month. Bye-bye everybody.